Hey guys, this is DT Gaming. So I want to talk to you guys about MSI Afterburner. Now maybe some of you guys don't know how to use this and you guys are asking, uh, how do I get the stats to show down here? Well, that's pretty simple. You're not going to find it here. However, you're going to look down here where it shows settings. You're going to click on settings right here. So you're going to click on that. You're going to click on the tab monitoring. And you see where it says GPU temperature? You're going to click on that. And you're going to click here to show in uh, tray. Now, you can set the color that you want, for example. Also, uh, you can set alarm value is out of range, um, minimum and max. So look up your temperature, uh, GPU temperature uh, settings for a safe zone. And type that for the minimum and then type it for max. I keep this blank because I, I know what to watch for. Alright, so another thing you want to add for is down here. You got your uh, GPU. Now you want to look for CPU. GPU temperature 1. You're going to click on that. You're going to show in system and create icon as well. And then there's another one down here. There's a fan that you also want to keep an eye on. Uh, fan speed right here. You click on that. And you show in system and tray. Click here. Then click apply. Then you have all your stats down here. I have mine different colors. The blue right here is the GPU. And the center is my CPU temperature. And then the third is my fan speed. Now, the fan speed, I kind of want to maybe turn green, so I want to be different than the others. I also want to make sure it's actually visible. Okay, see, now I can't see it. So, yeah, make sure you keep it a color that you can actually see. Um, I might actually keep that black. Okay, there we go, right there. So you can just change the colors of what you want. Make sure that it's actually visible on the, this, the tray down here. All right, so that's how you use MSI Afterburner. So another thing I want to talk to you guys about Afterburner, fan speed, okay? Uh, keep this on auto, okay? Let the fan auto adjust its speed based on your uh, GPU temperature. If your GPU temperature goes up, your fan temperature will go up by itself. So keep it auto. Don't change anything. Matter of fact, don't change nothing here. Keep everything the same. The only thing you need to do is just go here to setting and do what I showed you. All right, guys, that is going to be it for the afterburner. I hope you guys liked the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.